Are you a music producer who's struggling to get their drums, basses, or melodies to sound thick? Guess what? I have the solution for you. My name is Elmar Key, musician, rapper, record producer, unashamed crash follower, and today we're going to review this VST called Thickify. Elmar Key Productions. If you're a music producer who works in genres like hip hop or EDM or pretty much any genre that needs some aggression and grit to their tracks, maybe right now you're struggling to get your beats to sound as full and as thick as other songs that you find on Spotify. One of the tricks to getting your mixes to sound more thick is by using saturation. And if you're anything like me, I like being able to accomplish tasks quickly and efficiently. And that's one of the reasons why I enjoy using Thickify. Just to be fully transparent, yes, this is a sponsored video. However, I only cover products that I believe in and that I actually think can be of value to other music producers. So with that being said, let's go switch over to the computer and I'll walk you through why Thickify is a plugin that you should consider getting for yourself. In a nutshell, if you want to add thickness to any of your tracks in any of your songs or your beats, one step that you can do that is by adding saturation, which essentially is what Thickify is. It's a saturation plugin that can add warmth and thickness to anything that you put it on, whether it's on your drums, your bass, synths, guitars, pretty much anything. So for the purpose of this video, we're going to demonstrate what it can do to thicken up your drum sounds. So I just put Thickify on my drum bus. For now, we're going to bypass it and solo the drums and let's hear what we're starting out with. So the first step to actually getting thick sounding drums is by starting off with using good drum samples, which I do believe I actually did pick for this beat. So these drums in particular, they already sound pretty good starting out, but now I want to add just a little bit more thickness, a little bit more aggression. So now we're going to add Thickify to it, which is essentially going to saturate it. The easiest way to explain saturation is that it's a form of harmonic distortion. And when you add harmonic distortion to a set of frequencies, it can make it sound more full and more lively. So now let's turn on Thickify and we're going to manipulate this main knob here first. This is what's going to add the majority of your saturation to your sound. So now let's play the drums again and let's modify this knob. So as you can hear, the more we adjust this knob right here, the fuller the drums sound, the more thick that they sound. For genres like hip hop, R&B, EDM, that's a sound that you may want to go for. Also, if you look at our blue little friend over here, whenever we increase the knob, his muscles are getting thicker as well, which can pretty much, which pretty much is a visual representation of what's happening to the source that you're adding Thickify to, which in this case is the drums. Moving on to this knob over here, the tone knob, this selects which frequencies that you are saturating. So since it's all the way to the left right now, it's mainly saturating the lower mids, which sounds really good in the context of this beat and also the further you adjust this knob to the right then you're actually saturating more of the higher frequencies so now i'm gonna drag this back a little bit and we're going to play around with this tone knob and hear what that's doing So as you can hear, when we did drag it all the way to the right, we were mainly adding harmonic distortion to more like the higher frequencies, maybe like upper mids. And then anywhere from like the middle to all the way to the left is like, you know, the lower mids, the mid range. For the context of this beat and just for my personal preference, I think it sounds good anywhere between the middle to all the way to the left. That's just for me and my personal preference. There's no right or wrong way to use this plugin or really anything in general, as long as you're getting the sound that you're looking for. Moving on to the stress knob. So as I said before, this main knob over here, this main mainly saturates the mid frequencies, the stress knob is saturating the higher frequencies. So I'm going to play the drums again and adjust this knob, pay close attention to the clap and the hi-hat. So if you were paying close attention to the clap and the hi-hat, specifically their higher frequencies, you could hear that they were starting to poke out a bit more and punch through the mix. So that's a really good way to add apparent loudness to any source and also make it appear louder. Like let's say maybe the clap or the hi-hats were sounding a little dark before, maybe they weren't really punching through the way that you wanted to. You can adjust the stress knob and then and that will allow them to poke out a bit more. And this could be really useful on like a lead synth or maybe a guitar that you really want to stand out in the mix. Moving on to this drive knob. This drive knob is a more aggressive form of distortion. So if you really want to add some grit and some character to your sound, you can adjust this knob right here. So now let's go ahead and hear what this sounds like.
as you can hear, the more that we turn this up, the drums sound even more aggressive. This is a tone that's more closely related to clipping, in a way, for the context of this beat in particular. If I were to add this knob, I may just turn it up to maybe around here. But once again, that's just my personal preference. Depending on your own sound that you're going for, the context of the song or beat that you're working on, you can adjust it to your personal liking. Now, the final control over here that we're going to go over is gain. Whenever you're mixing, a common practice that producers and engineers use is if you're adding volume to a source with the actual plugin itself, you may want to decrease or increase the gain so that it matches the original volume and it doesn't throw off the overall levels and balance of your entire mix. So if you are adding volume with any of these parameters, for example, if you do want to practice proper gain staging and make sure that you keep your original levels intact, you may want to turn this gain knob down a little bit to match the original volume. So I'm going to reset these knobs really quick and adjust them and just show you what I may do when I'm approaching a mix. Okay, drum starting to get louder. Okay, cool. I like how that's sounding. Let's adjust this gain knob. Come down a little bit more. Okay, that's pretty close. So now it still has the harmonic distortion and the saturation characteristics that I'm looking for. And it's still able to sound more aggressive and poke out through the mix. But now it's matching pretty close to the original levels that the drums were at. And for this in particular, it's more so of a recommendation. At the end of the day, the most important thing that you need to do is use your ears. So if it's sounding good to you without adjusting this gain knob at all, then stick to doing that. For me, I like having the levels be around where I originally set them. So that's why I'll adjust this knob when I'm using this plugin. But once again, you can do whatever sounds good to you. And also, as always, whatever fits the context of the beat or the song that you're working on and those are essentially all the controls that Dickify has really easy to use plugin it sounds great and I highly recommend that you use it and even though I showed you how Dickify can thicken up your drums like I said earlier you can use this on pretty much any source that you want to add saturation to so you can use this on 808s or bass sounds for example if you want to make them sound more aggressive more gritty more full synth sounds if you want them to be more aggressive and poke out more through the mix this could sound good on vocals maybe in parallel if you want to dirty them up and also another thing that I really like about this plugin as well is just how quick and easy it is to use. For someone like me, I like working as fast and efficiently as possible. So there are some things where maybe I want some really in-depth controls, like if I'm adjusting the actual parameters of a sound, like if I'm doing some sound design work. But there are other instances where maybe I just want to quickly make something sound more aggressive. All I need is a couple of knobs to be able to dial in the tone that I want to use. So, so even just with these handful of controls right here, I'm pretty much getting the drum sound that I want. Something that's aggressive, something that's full, and pretty much gives off the vibe and emotion that I want for the context of this beat. Again, just to wrap this video up if you're a producer who works in genres like hip-hop r&b edm or really any genre of music where you may want to add some saturation some more aggression some thickness and fullness to any of your sounds whether they're drums bass or synths or pretty much anything i highly recommend that you pick up thickify it's an affordable plugin and it's really easy to use this plugin is perfect for either beginners or just people in general who don't need a whole lot of controls to dial in a tone that they're looking for if you're looking to quickly add saturation to anything that you're working on then i highly recommend thickify for you so now now you just learn how to quickly add saturation to your drums by using Thickify. Thank you for watching this video. If you like what you've seen today, please give this video a thumbs up and subscribe to the channel and turn on notifications so you know whenever I upload new videos. Also, if you're interested in getting this Thickify plugin for yourself, the link to purchase it will be in the description of this video. And if you use this code right here at checkout, you'll get a 10% discount off of your purchase. Just to be transparent, if you do use this coupon code at checkout, I do get a percentage of that sale, which does go back into supporting the channel as well as supporting my business and once again since it is a 10 percent discount code both of us end up winning regardless of if you decide to purchase thickify or not i greatly appreciate you for taking time out of your day to support this channel now go down in the comment section below and let me know what do you think about thickify do you think that you can use this in your own mixes are there any other features that you wish that it had let me know in the comment section below my name is l marquee l marquee productions god bless